September 20, Friday, Memorial of Saints Andrew Kim Taigon, Paul Chong Hasang and Companions, Martyrs. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward Cusa, Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord Accompanying him were the twelve and some women. In Jesus' time, women are not allowed to go public. They are not entrusted with civic and religious responsibilities. They do not testify in courts. They are not allowed to study the Holy Scriptures or to become disciples to a Jewish rabbi. Public life in the sphere of men. This is the concept of Tzeznua, where the woman's role is confined almost entirely within the private family, as in the case of Abraham's wife, Sarah, who remained inside the tent. Here, Jesus' practice of allowing women to become his disciples gives them the honor to be witnesses and supporters of his ministry. In fact, the women will later play a major role in witnessing to the death and resurrection of Jesus. As Paul teaches, the gospel is for all and must be proclaimed by all. There is neither Jew nor Greek there is neither slave nor free person. There is not male and female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus.